Hello everyone, a while back I posted a poll on my channel asking if you would like to see content from other games, which was voted on favorably by a narrow margin. The reason I ask this is because lately I have been really getting into a lot of content that I would describe as goal chasing. That is, picking a really difficult goal and just dedicating yourself to it until it gets done. That may not seem like anything special, but let me put it this way. F seeing a song in Clone Hero is always great, but what's more interesting to watch? An FC that gets uploaded out of nowhere, or an FC that someone has been grinding on stream for months and has finally achieved? I have always enjoyed the latter more. You can feel the time and dedication paying off, and it tells more of a story. This is what I want to convey with my videos. Additionally, while I love Clone Hero and won't be quitting anytime soon, there are other games I want to dip my toes in in terms of grinding, and you may have seen with my Celeste videos a while back. I know I won't ever be the best at anything in one game, as I simply don't have the required level of dedication or skill, and competing with other people sucks. I'd rather have a showcase of sorts of different iconic gaming accomplishments that I could show off. So what are my goals exactly? Well, I have five main goals at the moment. I would consider these to be medium term goals. They're still relatively pretty far off, but I think I could get them if I put in enough time. However, if these goals ever become too much, there are smaller goals that I could work towards. Additionally, once I complete these goals, there are even harder goals that I could go for if I still feel like I want to improve at these games. My first goal is, of course, an FC of Through the Fire and Flames on Clone Hero. Anyone who knows me knows that I want this FC more than anything else. It's still a ways off, and I still have five more songs to go in GH3 before I have the full game FC. But if I keep playing the game, hopefully I'll be good enough to FC this someday. That being said, despite Clone Hero being my main game, this will likely be one of the hardest and longest grinds, as I simply don't improve as fast as I would like. The second goal is a completion of Bloodbath in Geometry Dash. This is basically the Through the Fire and Flames of GD as it's pretty difficult and by far the most iconic extreme demon in the game, but still accessible enough for over a thousand people to have done it. I think that I improve a little bit faster at Geometry Dash than I do Clone Hero, but I haven't been actively grinding the game in over a year or so, and thus I haven't really made any progress towards this goal since completing Nine Circles, which is a hard demon. My third goal is to get all the golden berries in Celeste. This is probably the hardest of my goals if I had to guess. Most of the golden berries aren't that bad to do, and as you can see on my channel, I've already done up to chapter 3, with 3B being one of the hardest levels in the game. Although 3B may be harder than chapter 4 or maybe even 5, the later levels of this game are absolutely ridiculous with Chapter 9 being an absolute gauntlet of consistency, challenge, and skill. Chapter 9 sits at around half an hour in length, and that's if you're good at the game. It also contains by far the toughest rooms in the game, from the incredibly frustrating comb room to the two minute long consistency challenge that is the last room. And of course, the entire level has to be completed deathless. If you get past the last room, it doesn't even end there, as there's a secret final room that you can only access if you have the Golden Berry, meaning that I can't practice this room whatsoever. This goal, quite frankly, terrifies me, but I will go for it. My fourth goal is the one that I am the closest to, and is less a challenge of skill and more a testament to a player's dedication and knowledge of the game. That is, I must complete the National Pokédex in Generation 4. I've made a video on one of my other channels detailing how I plan to do this in 2023, but that video is pretty outdated and I'm going to make a better one very soon, once I've actually accomplished said goal. 
it will likely be my next upload unless I FC something really good or decide to make a video on SGDQ, which I've been considering. We'll see. That being said, currently I am one Pokemon away from actually achieving this goal. I wasn't kidding when I said I was close. Unfortunately, I'm stuck waiting for this Pokemon to actually appear, so it'll be a week or two. That being said, I will also reveal the goal that I will go for once this is done, which will be a Black Trainer card. To get a Black Trainer card, you have to complete the National Pokédex, defeat the champion, win a Master Rank Super Contest, obtain the Platinum Flag in the Underground, and get a 100 streak in the Battle Tower. I will also be going for all gold prints, which you get by battling in the Battle Tower. Uh, the Battle Frontier. These will be a lot tougher than simply completing the Pokédex, but I'm still pretty confident that I can do it given enough time. This is just for Platinum, however. Heart Gold has mostly the same requirements, although instead of the Super Contest, you have to beat all 10 Master Records in the Pokéathlon. And instead of the Platinum Flag, you have to get a Shiny Crown, which I'll go into more detail in another video probably. The Pokéathlon is a nightmare in terms of stuff there is to do, and I fully intend to 100% it. Not looking forward to that. My final goal is to complete a Nuzlocke. I've tried a few times, but still haven't finished one yet, mostly because I get impatient and don't want to plan out every fight like it's Emerald Kaizo. I'm on a pretty good run of a Souls Over Nuzlocke, but we'll see where that goes. This is not by any means a comprehensive list of every goal I want to go for ever. As I said, once I complete these, there's harder versions of pretty much all these goals. And there's other games that I want to get into someday, such as Hollow Knight. Although I haven't played enough of it to really know that if it's something I want to go for. That being said, once I've completed all these goals, or at least a few of them, I'll make an update video detailing new goals I want to go for. Hope you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, leaving a like is super helpful, I'm a pretty small channel at the moment, so every like makes a big difference. I'm going to keep working on these goals, and I will see you in the next one.